Hello guys and welcome back to chemistry class. This is chemistry of course. And today we'll continue our study on the types of reactions. And in this class, I'm going to be looking at catalytic, catalytic reactions. Alright, sorry, I'm shortening reactions to be that. Alright, so please know that this video tutorial, of course, is brought to you by the one and only best CBT practice app, the O3 Schools Jam app. It is all you need. For your sure success in your examination it has all the features it has all the past questions both recent and new in fact last year question is on the app all right so please jump on the app immediately there are so many features that are designed to make you study well and better what prepare and understand what you are doing like we have the classroom feature where you can what you can study and ask what our ai power chatbot questions on a particular question you are trying to decipher and it will lead you to the correct answer it does not just tell you the answer directly because if it does you are not learning so it leads you it leads you until what you get the correct option so in that way you are learning wonderful study mechanism also we also also have the utm challenge that will conduct for all students who are writing jam for this year all right so what will what happens is that every saturday every saturday morning by 10 a.m we conduct what a challenge for all jam students who are on this app all right and of course you are competing with them you are winning prizes Winning prizes is not only the only reason why we do this, also because you are going to be seeing your score by your subject, just like the way Jam releases its results. You are going to be seeing your results every Saturday as you participate in those challenges. Alright, so as you are seeing your results, you are seeing the areas where you need to improve on, and you are seeing the areas where you are very, very good at. Alright, also you get used to how Jam sets its question because they are all going to be Jam standard questions. They are going to be what Jam pass questions and what even the ones we set for you. So make sure that when you jump on the app, immediately and also this will build your confidence toward the exam Ima imagine that you have taken what so many mocks on the app by yourself right you will see that what it becomes what easy for you what to succeed and what answer questions that's set by what by jam all right the app is available for android phone it's available for what for also computers for your pc for your laptops all right so if you want to get the laptop uh, link for downloading the app just send a message on whatsapp 091215152 five two four six please i say send a message on whatsapp you don't need to over call the line don't call the line at all even if you are not replied immediately you will get you will definitely get a reply within what an hour so please make sure that what you send a message on whatsapp and of course and if you want to activate the app activation is three thousand naira for activation at the time of shooting this video and it may increase so make sure that what you just send a message on whatsapp that you want to activate and that will be all so let's look at what catalytic reactions Catalytic reactions are reactions whose rates are reactions whose rates whose rates can be altered by a catalyst by a catalyst. Catalytic reactions are those reactions whose rates can be altered by a chemical by what by a catalyst. Whose rates can be altered by what by catalyst that are called catalytic words reactions now the catalyst itself is a substance that alters the rate of a chemical reaction and remains at the end of such reaction they are not easily dissolved right they are not dissolved in the, in the reaction they are not decomposed right they remain at the end of such reactions those are what catalysts a catalyst is a substance that alters the rate of a chemical reaction and remains at the end of such reaction now a catalyst may be what may be positive or negative maybe positive or negative so we have what positive catalysts we have positive catalysts we have negative catalysts right a positive catalyst is a catalyst is a was a catalyst that increases is one that increases the rate of a chemical reaction one that increases it increases increases the rate of a chemical reaction why a negative catalyst is one that decreases the rate it decreases the rate of a chemical reaction now there are some substances that improve or add to the efficacy of what of catalysts right substances that increase the efficacy of catalysts that increase their strength right that increase what their performance they are called promoters Substances that increase the efficacy of catalysts are called what? promoters, right? Why those that decrease the efficacy are called inhibitors? Inhibitors, all right? 
subtlety that in that increase the efficacy or this one increase efficacy increase efficacy why this one's word decrease efficacy this one that call what that call inhibitors right now also there are some catalysts that what that alter the rate of what chem of reactions in living organisms the catalyst that alters the rate of reaction in living organisms they are called enzymes they are called what enzymes catalysts that what that, in, that alter the rate of reactions in what in living organisms they are called what enzymes all right so we have seen a lot a whole lot about catalysts positive catalysts negative catalysts we have seen promoters the ones that increase the efficacy of catalysts we have seen inhibitors those that decrease the efficacy of catalysts all right now a catalyst acts by increasing the activation energy uh, by lowering the world the energy barrier right that needed to be overcome for reactant to become what products right so the word they act by lowering the world that the activation energy or the one we call what the energy barrier let me let me make this clear a catalyst acts by lowering lowering the activation energy or what we call energy barrier for reactants to become a product of a word of a reaction that's how a catalyst acts so what happens is that a catalyst provides an alternative pathway for a reaction to what to occur right let me give you give you an example of what a catalyst does let's say you want to travel from from let's say you are in lagos you are traveling to abuja and you know the situation of our roads and you only have a corolla so you want to wanted to hit the road then your brother now told you that ha instead of you to use this car this corolla that is very low to the ground why don't you use my helos look at my helos it's a new 2023 toyota helos why don't you use it it has better shocks it has better height it can it can withstand what the test of time and of course it can enter portal and come out say oh wow so this it even move faster than your corolla so you say okay instead of me to use my corolla let me use what this helos this helos it has what increased what the rate of what it has increased what the rate of what of this what your journey your journey will be smoother will be what will be better it will be better so it has your brother has ended up providing what an alternative pathway for you to what to succeed in your journey so that is what catalysts do catalyst lowers the what the activation energy or the energy barrier that is needed to be overcome that's needed for the overcome for what for reactants to become what products that's what they do also catalysts do not affect the equilibrium or the equilibrium constant value catalysts do not affect the word the equilibrium or value of equilibrium constant they do not affect equilibrium or the value of equilibrium constants and the reason is that because catalysts are usually needed in what in small amounts you don't need too much of catalyst you don't need a small amount to what to prepare your reaction to prepare your reactant to become what products so you don't need small amount of it and also there are what specific what catalysts for specific reactions specific reactions have specific what catalysts so that is that for that catalysts do not what affect equilibrium or the equilibrium value constant or the value of the equilibrium was constant at all in any way all right now depending on um whether what depending on the physical state of the catalyst right catalyst may be homogeneous or heterogeneous homogeneous or heterogeneous all right that means like i'm saying depending on the state on the physical state of the catalyst we have what two type of catalyst the homogeneous catalyst and what an heterogeneous what catalyst now a catalysis or what a catalytic reaction is said to be homogeneous when the reactant and product and also the catalyst are in the same physical state why they are said to be heterogeneous when the reactant and product and the catalyst are in different what physical what state i'll give you an example to explain that for example if i give you a reaction like this 2SO2 plus O2 to give you SO3. Okay, sorry. SO2 plus O2 to give you O3. Let's see. Is this balance? This is uh, 4 here. Yeah? Okay, so it's not balanced. So the 2 has to be here and the 2 has to be here. Okay. So now, by giving this reaction, this 
reaction occurs in the presence of a nitrogen oxide with catalyst. All right, so and it is what gaseous. SO2 itself is a gas. Oxygen is a gas. SO3 is a gas. All right, so this is this reaction occurs in the presence of a gaseous catalyst. You can see the reactants and the products all in the gaseous state. All right, now let's see another reaction. Uh, for example, the formation of um, let's say C2H4 reacting with what with hydrogen, right? To give you what C2H6. These reactions occur in the presence of a nickel catalyst, which is a solid, right? This is a what? Uh, this is a gas. This is a gas. This is a gas. But this is a solid. All right. So this is what? This is an homogeneous what catalysis because all the reactants, the product, and the catalyst they are in the same physical state. They are all gaseous. But here, there's a solid, and they are all what gaseous. So this is different between homogeneous and heterogeneous what catalysis. All right. This is where we're going to stop as it pertains to catalytic reactions and in the next class i'm going to be looking at photochemical reactions and i would love to see you in that class thanks for watching